my name is McKinley. Today, in this video, we're going to talk about the three best comics of the week and the best cover of the week for the week of August 18th, 2021. But before we do that, I want to thank you for clicking on this video because I know you have so many other options to click on. So thanks for clicking on this box right here. Now let's talk about the best comics of the week and the best read of the week for the week of August 18th, 2021. But before we do that, let's indulge in a local, well, I say local, it's from the Wild Barrel Brewery in San Marcos, California, which is like the San Diego area. I live in Santa Cruz, so that's Central California. I'm, I'll break it down to you like this. But first, this is Wild Barrel Vice Passion Cactus Dragon Fruit. And this is from San Marcos, California. San Marcos is by San Diego. And I'll break down California the way it works for you people that aren't in California. But from the Oregon California border to San Francisco, that's Northern California, between San Francisco and Los Angeles, that's Central California. Los Angeles, Long Beach, Orange County, that's like Southern California. The Inland Empire is kind of Southern California, and that'd be like San Bernardino area. And then beyond that is Palm Springs and Coachella and Indio. They're really the high desert, but they like to pretend they're Southern California. And then below that is San Diego. San Diego is not even Southern California because it's too far below. It's too far south to be Southern California. San Diego is its own thing. And that's where this beer comes from. And it is a passion cactus dragon fruit. I'll tell you what it tastes like. Wow. Oh, golly. I honestly don't know. I used to make kombucha with dragon fruit. I think it's a fruit that I was getting imported from Vietnam. I had some connections at a time for imported fruit, frozen fruit. I think dragon fruit was one of them. It's really good. Wow. I wish you were all here to enjoy this with me, but since you're not, I'll enjoy it for you. Wow, that is really good. Oh my golly, I like that a lot. It's like drinking a gummy bear. Before we can talk about the comics of the week, I want to make a special dedication because August 18th is the anniversary of the release of the greatest, one of the greatest records of all time, Fun House by the Stooges. And so I wanted to share with you this limited edition CD box set. This contains every single track that was recorded for the Fun House LP. And so right there, you got Dave Alexander, you got Iggy, you got Scott Ashton, and then you got the king of rock and roll guitar, Ron Ashton, right there, the greatest guitar player that ever lived. And this is a six CD box set. It also includes a single, the single for uh, Down on the Street. So it's a like a two song CD. And then it comes with this little booklet. Every one of the CDs has a booklet inside that includes a little, you know, story about the line. It includes liner notes, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Greatest rock and roll band ever. They invented punk rock along with the Velvet Underground. But the best band ever the Stooges, There's, there will never be a better band than these guys. And there he is, Ron Ashton, the greatest guy ever. 
such a badass. I love this band more than anything in the world. And today is the anniversary of their Funhouse release. Greatest record, one of the greatest records of all time. Go listen to it after this video. All right, now that I've told you why August 18th is such an important day in history, rock and roll history, but also American history because the Stooges really shaped, helped, sh they transformed culture. Just like Chuck Berry, just like Lou Reed, just like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Elvis, they were one of those bands. Not many people can say that. Misfits, Ramones, Sex Pistols and Clash. There aren't very many other people that can say that they shaped rock and roll history. But you didn't come here for talking about rock and roll. You came here to talk about comic books. So let's talk about comic books. And this is the stack for the week. And we're going to judge the three best reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week based on this stack right here because this is what I got. But not all of these came out this week. So let me pull out the ones that don't count. And we'll start with... This came out last week. This is Horizon Zero Dawn. This is the Peach Momoko. Sketch variant cover. I super like this one. And I even... This is just strictly a cover by... I don't even know what Horizon Zero Dawn is. I think it might be a video game or something. I don't know. But I just really like this sketch variant. And it was open order, so I open ordered that. Also got The Nice House on the Lake. This is issue two, the second printing. I don't know why I ordered this. I think that's my spec buy of the week. And... I also picked up, this is another spec bio of the week, Department of Truth, number one, the sixth printing, but the correct sixth printing, because the other one was the wrong one. The yellow one was supposed to be the one in 25, and it ended up becoming the all, the one that everybody got. I don't understand. I'm just hoping one of those becomes worth money. That way I don't have to worry about my retirement plan and that'll be my retirement plan because I'm going to get it slabbed up in a CGC thing and then sell it for a ton of money. Now let's talk about the books that came out this week and we'll start off with the big two and lo and behold, I bought a Marvel book, Moon Knight number two. I got the Peach Momoko cover variant. Now that was it for Marvel. Now let's talk about DC. I got the Batman Secret Files Clown Hunter. The new issue of Nightwing. And the new issue of Catwoman by Rom V, which wraps up the big two. Got one on Marvel and a couple, I think three on DC. Now let's move on to the indies. And before we start with the indies, we'll start with image. I got the new Homesick Pilots, the new Time Before, is it Time? Yeah, Time Before Time, not Time After Time. That's that Cindy Lauper song, Time After Time. And rounding out the image books is the new issue of Radiant Black. Now with the real indies, V.E. Schwab's, or it's just V.E. Schwab Extraordinary. I think you have to say her name in the title. Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal. And rounding out the hall is, what is it, Killer Queens? Putting the sass in Assassin? This is on Dark Horse. And it's about a, uh, uh, it's a homosexual man and a lesbian woman, or just a, a gay man and a gay woman, whatever, that they're in, they're space assassins. So it's like that. If you ever saw that Queen 
the cartoon video with the where he, where Freddie Mercury was super gay in space, and it was I don't remember what song it was for, but it's kind of like that. It was kind of like a viral thing, like maybe like ten or fifteen years ago, and it's kind of like that, but in comic book form. Before I talk about the three best reads of the week and the best cover of the week, I want to talk about the breakout character of the week. My favorite character of the week was Dina from Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal. I've really been enjoying this book by Garth Ennis, and there was a character in here, she's right here on the cover, named Dina. Wonder where, big stretch, right? But she was my favorite character of the week. I loved her personality. She was the breakout star of the week. And I hope this is number four of eight. I hope we get to see more of Dina in the next four issues. Somehow, I hope she comes back because she was my favorite character of the week. Without a doubt, my favorite cover of the week is Peach Momoko's variant cover for Moon Knight number two. And if you want to know why I say Momoko, I'll include a link to a video th at the end of this video where I explain where she got her name from and why it's Momoko and not Momoko. In any case, that's my favorite cover of the week. So beautiful. I love her artwork. She is one of the best artists working today. And while we're talking about Moon Knight number two, let's start talking about the three best books of the week because this was my third favorite read of the week, Moon Knight number two. I really enjoyed this story a lot. It was a self-contained issue. And that's a really great thing in comics, in my opinion. I prefer that over a long arc, over six issues or eight issues, 12 issues. I like a little story just within in within and of itself. And that's what Moon Knight delivered. And it was a good story that it delivered. I also like the artwork. I am on board for whatever else comes up next in Moon Knight. Oh my golly. I can't believe this one came up as my second favorite read of the week. Especially when there were books like Nightwing out there as well. And that didn't even crack the top three. But V.E. Schwab Extraordinary, issue number three, this did crack the top three and made it into my second favorite read of the week. This was exciting. I like the character, I, Charlotte Till or some Charlotte? Charlotte. Charlotte Till. Charlotte. I don't know where that came from. Charlotte Till. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this book a lot. And this book was exciting, action-packed. I enjoyed the heck out of it, and I'm surprised that I did. That is really good. Now let's talk about my favorite book of the week. And hands down, it was Batman Secret Files Clown Hunter. I'm not a Clown Hunter fan, but this did have a punchline appearance. And actually, I, to be... It was a, an Alexis K appearance because Punchline was not in her costume. So I guess technically it was an Alexis K appearance. But regardless, it was still part of the Punchline story. And I really appreciated her being in it. I'm not a Clown Hunter fan by any means, but I did like the story a lot. And I enjoyed the artwork a lot. I was surprised by how much I liked it. I thought this would be kind of a throwaway, but I ended up liking it the most out of any book that I read this week. So my favorite read of the week, Batman Secret Files, Clown Hunter, which also has punchline for those of us keeping track of the punchline stories. One of the better, I preferred this punchline story than the punchline that the Tiny Onion's been giving us in Joker. I want to see more punchline action 
not so much orange is the new black. But that's just me. In any case, those were my three favorite books of the week and my favorite cover of the week. Tell me what your favorite book was in the comments below and tell me what your favorite cover was in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching. Peace, love, bunny, and bear.